Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It is Ask Me Anything. Oh, bold if I have that on. Ask Me Anything for June 2017. We're in June. Unbelievable. And um, I had a thought and it's gone. Oh, no. All right. So um, this one, we're going to have a chat about one size cloth nappies. Because they're really popular, one size cloth nappies. All right, so we're going to talk one size cloth nappies because they're really popular and it's what a lot of parents look to first because they're economical because they can be sized from about newborn up to toilet training. So about three to four kilos to about 16 kilos, depending on the size and shape of your baby and the cut and design of the cloth nappy. So, one size cloth nappy. This is a Rumperoos Destiny print. I wish this was around when my Abby was little. One size is, most common is one size is snapped through the front. So you snap it down at the front. Is she going to do it for me? Oh, why are you stuck? There she is. Alrighty. So, now snapping down through the front, we have some, a row of male snaps, which are here. And then you have some rows of female snaps. So this one has one, two, three rows. So you get four sizes in this cloth nappy. Some only have three rows of, two rows of female snaps. Yeah, same one with five. Um, now, so there's one way to size it through the front. So what you do, open it right up, is that you, good snaps, good snaps. So that's what the nappy looks like. So if you're newborn, you go right to the bottom. When you do that, we had big discussions about this last year. Make sure you fold up the rise. I'll be able to show on a different one, I think, a bit easier. So you don't want, when you fold it down, if you fold it down, you're going to get wicking out the side here. That'll be easier. So you folded it down. So you end up with a fold here when you fold it. And a little hill. See the little hill? Okay. If you fold this bit towards the back, no, toward, yep, towards the back. What you're doing is folding a wide part of the nappy into a thin part of the nappy through the groin. And what you end up with is, be easier if I do that, wicking potential. See that little, this bit here sticking out? That's how you get wicking. So what you do is this hill, you fold to the top, to the front of the nappy. And what you're doing is folding it into the wider part of the nappy. And therefore, there's no bit sticking out. So that's what it should look like. All right. So you fold towards the top, not down. Now, there are a few brands. Oh, terrible today. Um, a few brands where it doesn't matter which way you go. And that's the bunny Simply Light. Because it's a bit more straight up and down through the groin. Not as contoured. As this one. Alrighty. So then that was on newborn. If you want to, then you size it up on here, on each of the where the snaps are. So you size it up. Okay. So on the bigger setting, that's down. And then when Bub's taller, wider, chubby, completely unsnap it. Now. This is the most common because it's easy. You just snap it down to the size you need. You don't have to really think about adjusting anything. It's one of the easier ways to do it. What you will find as bub grows, so up to about nine months, you might get to about nine, nine months, nine, ten months, you go, oh, I'm fully undone. This nappy is not going to last until 18 months. 
unless you have a real trouble bubble like I did, this nappy is not going to last. It's because you, your child has been rolling around and sitting and not really being active, you know, for the first nine, six, nine months. Um, you've just been gooing and garring at them and feeding them and they haven't really been running around. Once they get to about 12 months and they're moving and grooving and you're now moving and grooving, they start to lose the chubs, the rolls and rolls of... Um, <laughs> the rolls, I'm thinking of Nathan, he had so many rolls, you had to part them. To, yeah. um, the rolls on their legs um, become, disappear, they go. And you go, okay, he was such a chubby puppy, he's not anymore. And then you'll find you'll need to make the nappy smaller again. Okay, and then you'll start snapping down again. Then as they grow and get taller, you'll have to unsnap it again. So you'll go up and down. So they, when you're sizing, make sure the back is in line with their belly button. Pull this one up at the front and do it up. If you find it's too far up or not far up enough, adjust the snaps. Okay. Now, the only downside of this system of sizing one size cloth nappy is you are locked in to those four size settings. That's it. You can't go in between. You're pretty much locked in. Okay. So another way to size a cloth nappy is, which takes away some of the confusion of the front snapping. All right. Particularly the new parents starting out is the size through the wings and the wings are this big part of the nappy. So by sizing through the wings, what you're doing is making this leg hole smaller. That's really what you're doing. And changing the rise. So on this, these sort of nappies, on a newborn, you come right in. So these fit from about five kilos. Some other brands fit from newborn, about three kilos. You come right in and there's your leg. Now, when bub gets older, you take it right out to the end and you get a bigger leg. Now, you just got to make sure you are pulling up through the groin, okay, to get that rise. So line up the back. Where's that teddy? Thanks for leaving these round boys. So make sure you line up at the back, around the belly button. And when you pull it through, you bring it up and then use the wings for where it goes around. Does that make sense? You can also, if Bub's got um, a skinny belly or they're a bit thin in the hips and then they bulge out and, you know, they're all different shapes, kids. You can go on an angle. Okay. So you can go on an angle. So you don't have to go straight up and down. No, it's hard when you sit backwards. You don't have to go straight up and down. You can go across. So that one and that one. So you can do it on an angle. And that can just provide a little bit more firmness around the waist. Alrighty. So front snappy, side snappy. They're the terms you'll see. So that's what that means. The other one, I'm quite sure what to is that it folds over at the front. So you can see there's no snaps down here. It doesn't look like this one. There's, the wings are at the front. Okay. This one snaps, changes size by folding over. I'll take the inserts out. So this one sizes, so this is the back, through the front. So you fold it over. So it's got a row of snaps across here. And then it's got a row of snaps. Four snaps here. Now you size this one by folding it over. Maybe you'll go down quite a bit for a little newborn. So I'll do it up and I'll show you. Let's see if I can do it backwards. Ready. Okay, so you go over. Really. It's hard to do it backwards. Okay. Okay, so there's the newborn. And it's, if you look up there, there's the fold. 
under there. It's been folded over. The beauty of the way to size this one, so you get complete customization. All right, so you can go a lot, you can go a little bit, and you can go anywhere in between. When bub gets bigger, obviously you bring it up and you start using these ones. Now, if you see on the early days, there's only four snaps. That's all you really need because they're, they're so small. You don't need to come out to here. Then as they get bigger, they're taller and wider, and you start coming out here. Which means this one can be easier for some parents. Some parents can be a little bit trickier because it's not set in stone. So that's nice and big, nice big legs. And again, ensuring you're pulling up through the groin at the back. And then when you come up the front, if you're quite dexterous, when you pull up, you can fold it over as you come up and get a good firm seal around the leg and do that. Okay, so that's how you can size one size cloth nappies. There's, a, there's, there's one other way that I've seen and that's through the elastic in the leg. And you do it it's via buttons. I've seen, seen a few different ways. Um, I think it's Fuzzy Buns who does it and pea pods. You do it by buttons in the legs and the elastic has size one, two, three, four, five, and you pull the elastic tighter. That is another way. Which way is best? None. Sorry. There is no way that is best. The side snapping, um, I have heard mixed reports on chubby babies or skinny babies. Some parents like that on skinny babies you can get a really high rise and a small leg. People like, but the majority for side snapping is a chubby bubby. Front snapping, you want to look at the rise of the nappy. Some uh, nappies, so the rise is the back from the bottom to the top or all the way around, depending on which measurement there are. So this one is good in that it's set in place. You don't have to guess. You just move up and down buttons. And, oh, that was all the same. These ones, because they're set, some kids who have a funny shape or are a bit taller or a bit chubbier, it can be sometimes a little bit more um, interesting to get the just the right fit. But it's always about that pulling through the groin, making sure you have that nappy in line with the belly button. All right, up to about nine, nine to 12 months, depending on the size of your child. Once they're over about 12 months, you make sure it's above their bum crack and then pull through the groin, okay? So on my darling Abby, who is nearly 12 in a week or so, um, so it's just above her bum crack and then I pull up through the groin and then it fits beautifully because they get a bit taller. All righty, so... Tips and tricks. So a lot of one size nappies come with single gussets, double gussets, these gussets. They're all different features of a nappy. Um, you can figure out what would suit you. None are perfect. None are the best thing ever. Some parents have success, some parents don't. So it's all about you finding exactly what you prefer. Um, Alrighty, I wanted to show you a newborn trick for these one size nappies. If you've got any questions, pop them up. I'm hoping the system's going to put them up for me. There's nothing at the moment. If not, I'll... So this is a newborn nappy. They're, quite, they're smaller than a one size. Okay, a bit trimmer on a newborn. Sometimes these one size can be a little bit bulky. On a newborn all right especially if you've got a heavy wetting newborn and you're using all the insert all right can be a little bit bulky if you don't like that I'd suggest newborn nappies pre-folds and covers are really economical you can choose but I wanted to show you a trick with one size nappy and I'll show you what it works with it's on the internet thought I'd show you here so this is a one size Baby Behinds Magical with the little trick done. So you can see it's a lot smaller. And you'd generally, with the 
the magical, you probably use just one insert for a newborn because you're changing so often, all right? Or just the trifold, which could be a little bit more bulky. Now, I'll show you what I did. It only works with nappies that you can cross over the wings, all right? That you can cross them over, so you can do that. So you can know you can do that because you've got male and female on one side, all right? So this one has a four rise setting. It works a little bit better with a three rise setting. All right, so this has four rise because it's got three females and fully open. So it's four rise settings. It works a little bit better when it's got two because these end up a little bit further apart, but it still works on three rise settings. What you can do, snap it down to the very first row Need some of that elevator music. Okay, snap it down to the very first row. It doesn't work on the second row. Okay, fold over this bit. So normally if you're on this sizing anyway, you generally leave it up. Not for this newborn. Little newborn hack. This will work for some. Fold it down, leaving that bottom row exposed. Can you see that? Then, bring this up. Take this side that you can cross over, it's got all the snaps, and put it on the middle snap. All right. There we go. You do that. And then you take the other wing, flip all this in. And you get a little, little nappy. Okay. Not perfect. Not brilliant. A little bit bulky but you can make the leg hole a little bit smaller for little bubs so that's pretty good for those newborn days because um, when they first come out they're a little bit more chubby and then they lose a little bit of weight and then they start gaining it again so that might be good for those first couple of weeks there's a little trick ah, if you haven't this doesn't work on nappy such as the rump of roos that you can't cross over you've got to be able to cross them over you can't cross these over. And it doesn't matter when you do do it up on bub if it's not perfectly symmetrical. It's fine. It's not a problem. So if you find for some reason you're going more one side than the other side, that's fine. It just means maybe bub had a big lunch. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. So that's not symmetrical. And my, who knows? Who knows? Maybe the insert's in a bit funny. That's fine. So that's one size cloth nappies. I, had a, I hope that's helped and given you something to think about if you're just starting out and wondering which style to get. Um, one size is it, right across the all in twos, the all in ones, the pockets, the fitteds, right across. They're just different ways to size them and nothing's there are different ways to do it it's like different undies and bras really oh hi susan thanks for joining in okay then there you go there you go one side called nappies there you go. Uh, have a great day this rain is horrible see you guys